Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about beginning improvisation. Improvisation is a great skill no matter what style of music you play. It helps you understand the way your instrument works and is laid out. It helps you understand the system of music. It's great for your ear, great for your mind, and it's really a lot of fun. Today we're going to talk about scalar-based improvisation. So I'm going to start out with a C major scale here in the first position. And we can expand that to cover the entire first position. So I'm going to assume you have some sort of resource, uh, an app or a book, where you can find uh, and learn various scales along the fingerboard. Um, there's a really good app I use a lot and recommend called Guitar Toolkit. Um, lots of good books out there too. I have a book with some basic improvisation uh, information in it, so you feel free to contact me if you want to copy that. So we're going to be using a real simple chord progression to use this C major scale over, just C major to D minor think of it as C major 7 to D minor 7. And I'm going to pop a backing track on here and just walk around the scale basically at first so that you can see um, how easy this is. As long as you stay in the scale, um, the notes are going to sound, nothing's going to sound too dissonant with the chord progression. So I was walking around the scale by step mostly. You can also skip around. I did a little of that. So any note in the scale, you can connect to any other. So as you get more comfortable with the fingerboard pattern, you'll be able to skip around as uh, your ear or your taste tells you is best. You can even, even take uh, any of these notes in the uh, scale and combine them to produce little chordal clusters. Let's try that a little more with the backing track. I encourage you to do that in at least a couple of different positions at first. Uh, other places you can play C major comfortably, you know, with the left hand at least, are second position, fifth position, seventh position, tenth position, and twelfth position. Um, let's try seventh position.
by the way, um, three note per scale types uh, of uh, patterns like that are of course fine. The idea is just to limit yourself to one area on the neck. Um, you're, be, you're able to learn that a little more thoroughly and often improvisation sounds a little more succinct if you narrow it down to a certain register on the instrument. So um, one last thing I'd recommend you doing with these uh, fingerboard patterns is transposing them. So if we move from C major to G major, uh, we would take that last position I did, C major in the seventh position, transpose the G will be down in second position. And um, you want to explore that the same way you explored uh, C major. And it's good to remember that G major has an F sharp. about before you start using it for improvisation. So let's try a little improv in G now. get to know a couple of those positions for a few days, a week, and then you'll be really well prepared to take the next step forward in your improvisation. Happy practicing. We'll see you next time.